Hey guys, what's up? It's Mango and Gypsy's Yarn Yak. Um, I have got some yarnalicious love for you guys today. Several, several skeins of yarn. I um, had made a purchase from Joann's and it came in five separate packages. It came really quick, but five separate packages, so it took me a while um, to get everything together. And then I also went to um, Walmart and Michael's yesterday. Did I grab the Michael's bag? I did grab the Michael's bag. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to pause this again and then restart all over. Because um, you know how I am with technology, right? Especially because this is kind of a newish phone and having all sorts of issues with it. All right. Anyway, so um, I'm going to show you the non-yarn stuff first. However, I did get some Clover Amore hooks, which I am loving right now. It is so easy on my hands. because you can see, my hands are kind of swollen. If I do any length of time of crocheting, they get really swollen. Um, and the Clover Amore has got just that right grip. I love my Susan Bates. Don't get me wrong. I do have my bamboo ones that I got from Hershner's. Um, but I do love these Clover more. In fact, I bought, um, I just made another purchase from Joann's to get some yarn that I've never tried before and to get, um, two more hooks, the three, the E 3.5 and the F 3.75. Um, cause I'm working on a lot of baby stuff right now, which will explain some of the books that I have here to show you guys. So I would show you the Clover more hooks, but they are all in different project bags right now. <laughs> I'm not digging for them right now. And you guys know what a hook looks like. So we'll wait on that. Um, so the another thing that I got is I got three books. Um, I got this, uh, oh, that's not the right book. Okay. Well, I got this one and it's car seats. Um, and then when I, I think I showed this one before, but since I have it out here, I'll show it to you. These are, it's a Mary Maxim book. I think I got it for like $1.99 and it's got all these little stuffies that I'm going to, um, either just do the heads and make into lovies or I'll do the whole thing. Cause see, look at baby, the baby looks like it's having a good time with that. So I got that, and then I have one that's got car seat blankets, but it's in a project bag right now, which should explain why I wasn't able to find it. Um, I also got this book here. It's the Big Book of Baby Afghans from Leisure Arts. And I got this from Joann's. It's, uh, it says beginner level, and it's got all these really, let's see if you guys can see that. See, it's got all these really cute Afghans for babies. I've been doing a lot. When I show you, when I film my um, finished object video, you guys will totally see what I mean by I've been doing a lot of baby stuff. Dresses and blankets and play mats and oh my. <laughs> so there are some in here that I just absolutely love. Like I think this one right here is absolutely beautiful. Let's see, can you? We're working in the kitchen today, guys. And it rained yesterday. Oh, there you go. Isn't that pretty? I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that'll be something I'm working on soon. And then I've been actually doing, um, I've been designing some patterns of my own. What? I know, right? I figured it's been over a year since I started learning how to crochet. I should try and um, design a couple things. So I have one design, um, and I have to finish typing up the pattern because my girl Lori, hey girl, hey, she's going to be my pattern tester on it. Um, it is a scarf, and I'm calling it my high five scarf because it's kind of, it's very much like the basket weave scarf. However, instead of doing four or three, it has five front post double crochets, back post double If you know the basket we've stitched at all, you'll understand. If you don't, stay tuned. I will be doing a tutorial on that as soon as I have it tested by my pattern tester. Um, I also um, did this other one, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet. Um, and I just finished it right, probably two days ago, I just finished it. So, and it, I got the pattern stitch out of this book, which I also got from Joann's, which is the Crow Stay Stitch Dictionary. And it's got, tons and tons and tons of like I want to do this one right here see this one right here it's the crown puff yeah crown puff lattice I want to do this so bad but I'm a little confused on the wording and I don't have anyone near me who crochets or would be able to understand that so I'm gonna try it a couple of different ways of how it reads to me and see if that works um but it, there's lots of detailed look at the Catherine wheel isn't that gorgeous I don't really like the colors that much, but I think it's beautiful. I think that'd be really pretty in like blues and teals or something. But it gives you step-by-step -step instructions and it gives you detailed pictures. It explains about the pattern. So this is a really, really good book. I would recommend getting it. I think I got it actually on sale for like, I want to say like $9.99 or something like that. I think it was like a, a, one of their sales because Joanne's been having a lot of great sales. And unfortunate for me, I just discovered that there is an actual Joanne store that just opened up next door to my Michael store. <laughs> right? So I've been um, itching to go over there. I think it might be a bad idea, but I've been itching to go over there. I did go over there um, back in December on my birthday, 
and I bought a project bag and I bought some yarn and yeah but there was a lot of yarn I bought and it wasn't really a recent unboxing so I decided not to show that yarn though if if I get enough asks I will definitely show it I got a lot of yarns because a lot of my finished objects I was working on were you know I'm a Chicago Bear fan right so I have a neighbor who's a Steeler fan and she wanted me to make her some Steeler beanies and so I had to go get gold because I didn't have gold because well, I'm not a Bears fan or I'm not a Steelers fan sorry of the time anyway and if you're just joining me uh thanks for sticking around if you can understand what i'm saying without having to slow me down man kudos <laughs> anyway okay so that's the non yarny stuff that i got at joann's from joann's now i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven balls not balls they're because they're not balls, they're the, they're not skeins, yeah, skeins of yarn to show you from Joann's. Um, the first one I'll show you is a little, ooh, small here um, because I've been using it already and I actually got it, it was, it's the Big Twist Value and it's Varsity Navy. Can you guess what I bought this for? Let me see if I can get this under. It's not that dusky, like see, like the shadow, it's not, let me see if I can... Err, hold on, block the sun, block the sun. It's a really good navy. It is like a Chicago Bear kind of navy. And I bought this one along with this orange. And if anybody says Broncos, Siobhan, that's my cousin. Hey girl, what's up cuz? Um, <laughs> I will send you something. But this I got for Chicago Bears. I wanted to make myself a ponytail beanie. Um, when I do my finished object video, which I should be filming either today or tomorrow um, to upload. Excuse me, baby God. <sighs> Sorry, my son came home sick from school today and I'm just a wreck. Do you see my eyes? No caffeine. I'm kind of like, <sighs> yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so I got those two colors um, and I used some of this one because, and if I can figure out how to insert a picture, I will. Um, because I already gave it to the person who um, commissioned me to do it, was a Notre Dame bear. Okay, so this was the jersey color, and then I did um, sunflower for his pants of a Karen one pound, and then I did a gold, and I can't remember if it was a big twist gold or if it was a Karen one pound gold, um, to do the N and the D on the chest. If I can figure out how to um, insert a photo, I will. If not, I don't have anything to show it. So maybe I'll use it as my screen capture picture for the video for finished objects tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, and if I keep looking like I'm looking to the side because I feel like I keep doing this, it's because on my other camera, on my other phone, the camera was up in this corner. So that I keep looking up there so I can make eye contact. But down here, it's on the side. Just, me and technology, right? We remember this. I hope we remember this. Anyway, so that's two of the balls that I got. And now I can finally put these stuff away. Um, once I get it all put away. So then the other ones I got, um, I got two and I've never used, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. Yeah. Seven Karen one pounds. And then I got two of the pound of love from lion brand, which I've never used before. And it's really, really pretty. And like I said, I've been working on a lot of baby stuff and I was thinking this would be really cute for a little boy or a little girl, but one of those, um, rompers. You know, like the little baby osh gosh bagosh overall type things. Um, so I'm going to start working on that. But I didn't want to use any of the yarn. I had to do that. I was commissioned on that. The Varsity Navy Big Twist. I had to use a little bit of that. But I haven't used any of my other pounds of love. And now I've been dying to because I wanted to film it first. See, I was trying to be considerate. And yeah. <laughs> and I have lots of yarn. I've been trying to use my yarn stash too. Um, anyway, so this is the pound of love. And this, let's read some. I did not give you the stats on the Varsity today. We're gonna go back, rewind real quick. I'm just gonna leave the varsity stats on the orange since I haven't used it. It's um, It does this really cool thing right here. You can tell it's been, I'm a little rusty at these videos, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so six to make an afghan or a blanket. I don't know if that's a throw, but I'm gonna say six to make like a throw, blanket, afghan type thing. Three to make a sweater, one for a hat, one for a scarf, okay? And I probably, I'm not gonna use that much because it's really bright orange um, for my, uh, Chicago Bear type stuff, but I, it's also, let's see, um, it says, it recommends a US 8 slash 5 millimeter knitting needles. It's to make a 4 by 4 square knitting. It's 18 stitches by, excuse me, 24 rows. 
It's a medium four weight and then the crochet, which my channel is mainly crochet because I haven't taught myself how to knit yet, but that's, you know, the next step once I, you know, finish some of these commission projects that I have going on right now. Um, I've got, this is a four medium weight, I said that, so 13 single crochet by 14 rows with a US H8 or a five millimeter hook will make you a four by four square. Let's see if I can back up. There you go. There's the info on that. Um, this is made in Turkey. Um, 2019 and distributed by Joanne Stores, LLC, Hudson, Ohio. I think that's actually where this one came from was Hudson because they, it was so funny. I got one package had one skein of yarn and it was this huge box that came like with the other ones that had like nine skeins in it. I was like, what? And then one skein came with all the hooks. So it was just, or actually most of the hooks and then one package came with like two hooks and then one came with a book. It was odd but it worked out so it's 100 percent acrylic so you know that's machine washable and dryable i believe okay machine washable low iron do not bleach do not tumble dry um dry clean dry flat okay and this is varsity orange so i got the varsity football you know so i got those two colors now back to the pound of love oh i did not know this i just first thing i pulled up this was made in egypt did you guys know pound of love was made in egypt i did not know that at all that's crazy so this is a medium four weight. There are 16 ounces uh, or 454 grams. There's 1,020 yards or 932 meters per skein. Um, it says a four by four square of this using an eight or five millimeter knitting needle will be 19 um, stitches by 24 rows. You, it recommends, wow, for four, huh? It recommends a J10 or six millimeter hook. Um, 14 single crochet by 18 rows will make you a 4x4 four four square. Um, it's 100% premium acrylic, machine washable and dryable, which I love. All of the yarn I've bought recently is all machine washable and dryable. Because I remember what it was like to be a single mom, or even just to be a mom. You are so busy and hectic, like washing bottles, and as much as a child spits up, and all this other stuff that the kids do, like, they're, they're sticky. <laughs> and they get stuff on them, especially even how young they are. Um, I wanted to make sure they were machine washable and dryable so you could just throw them in the wash. At the same time, you're throwing the baby in the tub. Well, not throwing the baby in the tub, but you know, washing the baby with clothes are washing. So it's really easy and simple. That's what I was trying to do with care instructions because when I had my son, I made sure everything I had, it whether it said it or not, I didn't even read a label. Hey girl, hey Courtney, you know you don't read labels. <laughs> so I didn't read any labels. I threw everything in the wash. I did not, there was no color. No, it was whites, reds, did not matter. It was all going in the wash, same cycle i didn't change the thing nothing because you're tired you're very very tired <laughs> you can't drink caffeine if you're nursing so you know all that good stuff anyway back to what i was talking about so this color i have here is called denim and it is pound of love and then here's the color let me turn it so you see the color is is that popping up come on Come on screen, denim. And then there was all the pertinent information. I'll leave that up there so you guys can see it. But that is a lot of good. And these were all under $10, the yarn. And usually they're more than that. So Joanne was having a crazy good sale and I had a coupon for like free shipping or something. So I went a little, little bit berserk on the buying of the yarn. So that's my denim. And then the other color I got here is called Creamsicle. Do you guys remember? Okay, one of my first jobs I ever worked was at Dairy Queen. You know me, I do tangents. If you want to fast forward this part, you can, but I do tangents. And we used to sell cream schools all the time to the old timers. And I can say that now because now I'm getting close to being an old timer. Not quite there, but yeah, I'm getting close to 40. I got a few more years, but still, it's, yeah. Anyway, so this is uh, cream school, and again, 16 ounces, 454 grams, um, 1,020 yards, 932 meters. When it said cream school, I had to buy it. That was the tangent. Back to round. Okay, size medium four. It still recommends a J10 or an eight, which is a six millimeter for crochet hook or an eight or a five millimeter knitting needle. Machine washable and dryable. See, this one was made in Turkey. That is so crazy. So the denim's made in Egypt and this one is made in Turkey. Anybody good at geography, they can tell me how far Egypt is from Turkey. I mean, I'm just curious, just that probably doesn't interest anybody else, but yes. So here's the color and it's this really pretty, it's not even, I want to say it's like a corally color, but I'd have to ask Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches if it actually would be considered coral because it's got more of an orange hint to it. But I don't know if coral has more of a peach hint or an orange hint, but this looks like a peach to me, like a darker peach. Maybe it's like a coral peach. I don't know. It's called Cream Skull, and I think that's absolutely beautiful. And that would make a lovely baby dress or a baby blanket or maybe a hat and some bonnets and stuff like that because I've been buying 
a lot of crochet books on my Kindle, but I can't really look what I got on my Kindle because it's not physically here. Um, okay, so there's that. My son's using it because he's sick, right? Okay, so then the next ones I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are back. Like, I'm so glad to be back. I had a little bit of a health scare there and it doesn't even matter now because I don't know why I let it stop me. I, I didn't crochet for like maybe three months. I didn't crochet anything at all because I was just so down in the dumps about the doctors and stuff. Oh, I did get another pound of love. I'm sorry. I got three pounds of love. Let me make sure these are all, yeah, the rest of these are carrying one pound. So I got three pounds of love. See, I'm getting sidetracked while I'm trying to look at stuff. Okay, so this one, they're all 100% premium acrylic. This is called Pastel Green. Um, it is 16 ounces, 454 grams. There is, uh, okay, sorry. I'm noticing a little, don't you hate that when you get yarn sometimes and it's a little stiff in like one little area and you're like, well, what did it touch? Kind of thing. Anyway, sorry. Sidetracked. Woo. Um, same recommendations, J10 or six millimeter crochet hook, eight or five millimeter knitting needle. It's a number four weight yarn. I said it was pastel green. Let's see, does it tell me? Machine wash and dryable. And this one was made in Turkey as well. But I think this one's a little bit older because I know that when Crystal over at Bag Day Crochet, I don't know if she watched my channel, but hi Crystal, I'm such a big fan. Sorry, Woo, moment. <laughs> I'm doing lots of her stuff right now too. I've been getting her patterns off of Etsy and stuff, which is where my baby stuff's coming from. Um, but she, when they came out with the new band, I think she showed them on one of her trips to, was it Michael's? It might've been Michael's. Um, and she showed the new band and that's what that, um, band down here, I'll just quick and show you. See how it's got like these, all these cool little spots and like, you know, it's kind of like abstract art deco type thing. And then this one has a lovely little redhead, nice little ginger. And I don't know if it has that pattern cause that is cute. Look at that top. That's kind of cute. Let me see. So it says one ball to make a scarf, one ball to make a hat, and two to make a sweater. That's funny. Because on this one, okay, one, one, two. What did I read? Oh, that was the other one. Okay, that was the varsity ones that was taking like six to make an afghan. So um, it's one to make a scarf, one to make a hat, and two to make a sweater. Does it have that? I wonder if it has. Lion Bright doesn't usually put the pattern underneath. And yeah, so it doesn't have the pattern underneath. But anyway. Isn't that pretty? And I figured that worked for a boy or a girl. Like, you know, if you were doing a baby shower or something like that and they didn't want to know the sex of the baby, I think that that is bugging me that it has like, sorry, this just bugs me. It's got like a little stiff part right here and I don't like it, it's driving me nuts. Anyway, so that's my other pound of love. And I've never worked with pound of love before, so I'll be interested to see how those work. Now, the last one, two, three, four, five, six from the Joanne's order before I move on to the Michaels and then the Walgreens or Wal <laughs> Wally World, you know, Walmart. I don't know why I single Walgreens. Um, anyway, so the colors I got here, I think, let me just double check real quick to make sure they're all about the same um, info. Um, I can't find the info on this one. Okay, all right, 453, 16 ounce, 453, 16 ounce, 453, 16 ounce, 453, 453.6, 0.6, 0.6. Okay, it's all pretty much the same information. So, the colors I got. I'll show you this first one here. I got lilac. Isn't that pretty? Remember, I'm doing a lot of baby stuff. So all this stuff is mainly to go for baby dresses, booties, hats, diaper covers, blankets, play mats, that sort of thing. That's what the intent with was buying all this yarn. But I love that it has, it has its start out already. Oh, it's not as great as when I got that Hirschner um, purple gradient pack and they actually had the little tab on it that said, pull here. It was awesome. I love that thing. Anyway, so the info on this one is okay so the color i gave you was lilac it's a size four medium weight um on this one five millimeter knitting needles or ush8 or us8 um and this one versus the pound of love they're both a size four remember on the karen one pound it is actually recommending a ush8 or five millimeter hook and on the karen or on the pound of love karen one pound pound of love do you see why i'm getting confused here i just it happens, right? <laughs> um, it is recommending a five millimeter hook instead of a six. So, sorry, I'm getting a notification right now. Oh, designs for Vanessa. She's doing a, okay, I'll check that out later. Sorry, in one moment. Okay, so this one is 16 ounces or 453.6 grams. I love the point. I just, I, 
And it's over five. Why can't you just make it 454 grams? That would have been cool, right? But that would be like 16.1 ounce or something. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, it's machine washable and dryable as well. There are 825 or 812 yards, blah, 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 um, or 742 meters. So I got it in lilac. Let's see if you can see that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's such a soft color. It's perfect. Like, I always think babies should be in soft colors, but I like, you know, like, or really dark colors, if that makes sense. Like, for Christmas and stuff like that, like maybe a navy, but I like really light, soft colors for children. Um, and this color I got here is called Fig. We're all in the purple family here. I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can see the yarn. Let me see if I can block it with my face. Block. Isn't that pretty? I think that's gorgeous. And this is all the same info as the last one, machine wash and dryable. Does it say where this one is made? Oh, and this one has a pebble pop knit pattern on it. And I think that that's the same with the, it, it is actually the same with the lilac one. And it's also the same with the next color I'm gonna show you and the color after that. So four of them have the same knit pattern on them. So that was fig. The next color I will show you, I love this color. I don't know why. I'm not a dull color, not dull. That sounds horrible. But I'm not like a neutral kind of person. And I always consider um, grays like a neutral or charcoals like a neutral. And I got this soft gray mix. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. And it, it kind of looks heathered to me because it's got kind of like this. It's got, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so right here. I'll pull it up here. Let me show it. See how it's got like, uh, right there. See how it's the soft gray and then it's got kind of like little splotches, splotches of dark in it? That what makes me think it looks heathered. So I think that actually would be really pretty as a pullover even. I might keep this for me. <laughs> <laughs> or for my shop. I'm not sure yet. So there's the, and that's called soft gray. And then you know me. What's my favorite color, guys? Green, right? I had to get one of these. Especially because it's March. It's the month of my people and it's women's um celebrating women's month like it's women history month Wom women's history month and it's also you know st patrick's day and everything like that um so this is called kelly green shocker right let's see uh, right there you see it and it's got the same stats it's size four weight machine washable and dryable 16 ounces or 453.6 grams 812 yards 742 meters and it also has that pattern for the Pebble Pop Knit Pillows, which they're kind of cool looking. So and it's kind of small. So maybe that might be something I might, I might save the band on one of these and do it as one of my first knit projects. Because like when I first started doing crochet, I didn't do a washcloth. I still have never done a washcloth. Um, I didn't do a dish towel. I didn't do anything like that. The very first thing I ever did was a blanket. Because, hey, why not, right? <laughs> Even if you knew the stitch, what? So, yeah, I never I go step by step. I usually jump to, oh, well, you know that? You know, I can do that. And it really helps, actually, because Crystal at Bago de Crochet, I know I mentioned her a little bit earlier, she always, every time she does her pattern, she always says, this might be intermediate, but I think you can do it. And, like, just that, even though she's not talking to you specifically, that vote of confidence, it just, it kind of helps, you know, especially when you're learning something new. Anyway, so I've got the Kelly Green. And now the last two colors I've got, it's all the same information again, five millimeter hook, 16 ounces, 812 yards, 743 meters. Let me double check that. I don't want to give you the wrong info. Especially because I tend to like talk really, really fast. If you want to, you know, blow your guys' brains out here with my talking fast. Yep, 453 points, 742 meters, so I was right. Okay, so that was the Kelly Green. We got the soft gray, we got fig and lilac, but then we got the creamsicle, the pastel green, and the denim and the pound of love. This color right here is called soft sage. Isn't that pretty? I think that's gorgeous. It's a little greener here. It looks like on my camera, it looks really blue. It looks super, okay, there we go. That's kind of, uh, kind of a little truer to color. It's, it's a lot, more green than blue that's popping up on my camera right now so we'll see why that's doing that so there's that one and then it comes oh sorry i didn't tell you about the pattern this was actually a crochet pattern so the crochet pattern on the back side of the label which i love when they give you patterns it means 
It just makes it, why does it have two starting ends? See, whoop, and whoop. Does that mean there's gonna be a huge knot in the center of this that's gonna make me cry? I'm thinking so, but that's okay. I got my beautiful ball winder fixed. Actually not fixed, I got a new one from my girl Lori. Hey girl, hey! It's been like 20 minutes, I can say hey girl, hey again, you know, hey. <laughs> so this is a soft sage and the pattern for it is actually called um, Buffalo Meter Crochet Blanket. So it's a crochet pattern and there's the pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? My mom would like that. I'll show it to her and see if she wants it done in different colors, but I, she'd really like that. Okay, so there's that one. And then the last one, it doesn't show, and it's carried one pound still, and there's no, um, my parents are going for a walk right now, so they're trying to be quiet, but they can't manage it. It's okay. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> anyway, um, never dull moment here. So this one doesn't have a pattern on it, so I'm going to say it's an older, and this is called pink. It's just pink. See, it's like soft pink, and that's true to color. That's absolutely true to color. Though to me, it kind of reminds me of like, Almost like, no, it's soft pink. I was gonna say it's kind of like a purpley pink, but it's soft pink. So this one is also same information as before, five millimeter hook, uh, five millimeter knitting needles, 100% acrylic, 16 ounces, 453.6 grams. We know how I love that 0.6. Um, 812 yards or 742 meters, okay? So that's the last of my Joanne order. Whoo, that was like 27 minutes there of Joanne. And me rambling and my tangents and we know we like my tangents. <laughs> so let me put all this stuff. I was trying not to like have any rustling going on, but it's the middle of the video. You guys will be fine. Take a drink. You're good, right? Okay. So that is my Joanne order. Let me sure. Okay. I'm sorry. But like I said earlier, my son came home sick from school today. Um, and I'm not entirely sure he was sick. So he's in his room, but every few minutes he'll call for me. And he hasn't called for me in a minute because as soon as he heard me start talking in the first filming of this video, he came out. How sick can you be if you want to come out and be like, hey, everybody? Like, yeah. But then again, he's eight. And he did something really cute. He's never done this before. He asked me for chicken noodle soup. So I had to go to the store and get chicken noodle soup. And he's not sick. I know he's not sick. But he's eight and he wanted to come home. And, you know, you can't. With COVID and everything going on, you can't really be like, no, keep him there. So anyway, rambling done. Well, it's not done, but on to the next bag. Okay, so I only got three skeins of yarn at Michael's because I was actually going in. Do you ever notice, let me ask you something. Do you ever notice when you order something from Michael's online and it says limited quantity? They're real quick to take the money out of the account, but if it turns out that they don't have the full amount, of what you order, like if you order like three skeins and this has limited quantity, it doesn't tell you how many there are and they don't have any or they only have one, they take a little longer to refund it. <laughs> so um, at my specific store and the other store that's close to me, because I live in between two kind of, there's one I prefer that has way more yarn and then there's one that I go to in a pinch that's next to Walmart. And I had to go to Walmart because um, I had to get some groceries and stuff and printer paper because I'm printing a lot of patterns lately. So I popped into that Michaels. And they had, I needed two skeins of a Karen Big Cake, and the color that I got was Vanilla Bean. Look at that. See all those browns? They, again, I am not a neutral color person. However, I did say, if you remember, I'm doing a lot of baby stuff. There is this hooded jacket that I've been doing, and I love the pattern. It's from um, Daisy Farm Crafts, and when I, again, when I do my finished object video, I will post the link to that, um, her website, and, um, all I want to do is add ears to the hood of this thing. And I thought that this would be adorable for a little boy. See all those browns? And I'll probably color coordinate it. Um, but I might not, because I like the way the colors just come out usually with Karen Cake, because they're very long um, changes. So you go for a while with one color and then it changes to the next. So it's not like um, a quick change, it's a slow change. So I got two of these. One and two. So they had the two that I needed, right? So then I was just looking to see what else they had because I was standing there and um, I saw a pink sticker. You guys know what pink stickers mean, right? Clearance. So I have never used a Karen Skinny Cake and I got one for 
that yeah, I, I'm not even a big fan of these colors, but I'm thinking again, little girl dresses or cardigan or sweater or even like a little bolero or something like that. Those are perfect little colors. I And so I grabbed it. I just, I had to grab it because you guys know how much Karen cakes are usually, right? They're $9.99 or even on Amazon, I've seen them for like $15.99 because I was trying to find afternoon tea because I think they've discontinued it because I can't find it at any Michaels. Um, <clears throat> and I needed it badly. <laughs> Um, so I grabbed it. I never see Karen Cakes on Clarence. So for $2.99 when it's usually $9.99, like, that's $7 difference. That's, I can come up with something for this. So the, um, since this is in my hand and I'm waving it around like a crazy person. See all those colors? Isn't that beautiful? This color right here is called Turkish Delight. Makes me think of Narnia. Remember the last time I did an unboxing? I had gone to Walmart and I had bought the mandolin yarn just because it said Narnia. Well, I bought some more mandolin yarn in there just because of what the name was. <laughs> <laughs> but Turkish Delight, that's what she is Edmund. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. I'm so sorry that you do not know who C.S. Lewis is or the line that went to the wardrobe. Anyway, Turkish Delight is what the White Queen gives to Edmund when she finds him and he's sitting in her little sleigh or whatever. She offers him Turkish Delights. So I didn't even realize that's what this was called. That is so serendipity. Serendipitous. Something. <laughs> anyway, so this is a three, which is why it's called a Karen Skinny Cake, if you don't know. Um, it is machine washable and dryable. Again, everything I have bought lately has been machine washable and dryable. Um, let me see what else here. Uh, four millimeter or a G6 hook or a four millimeter US6 knitting needle to make your four by four square. For the knitting, you would need to do 22 stitches by 30 rows. To do your four by four square in crochet, you would need to do 16 single crochet by 17 rows. And it's got, it's real, it's absolutely gorgeous, actually. I, I will say, these aren't my typical colors, but look at that. This just makes me think of, like, an English tea garden or, like, the secret garden. Like, I read a lot of books. I read a lot of books. So, anyway, I think that's absolutely beautiful. And then I will put that, I have a giant box right here, but it's already, stuff's falling out. But you know me, hey, I'll figure it out. Anyway, so back to the vanilla bean, which is your Karen Big Cake, which is a four medium. I know that. Um, and the reason this is a big cake is because it's more yardage than the regular Karen cakes, which are four millimeters or four weight yarn. Sorry, medium weight yarn. Um, oh, did I tell you how much came in this? I'm so sorry, guys. So in the Turkish Delight, it's 8.8 .8 ounces or 250 grams. And there are 795 yards. I can definitely make a baby dress or some other stuff. Sorry. Frigolos, cro uh, Frigolos Crochet. She just posted something on Facebook, so I had to, like, it just pops up. I got distracted. Anyway, so with 795 yards, I can definitely make a complete baby set. Maybe even a car seat blanket on top of a little dress and a hat and stuff like that, like a newborn set. So I'm looking to do those. And then, so for the vanilla bean, which I really like, it's got all these browns, which makes me think of teddy bears. You go out in the woods today. Okay, sorry. I can't help it, guys. Tangent brain. You know how my brain works. It, it it goes. And then we come back. We circle back around. We take the scenic route on this channel, right? Okay. So there are... It's 100% acrylic. Same with the skinny cake. Um, there are 10.5 ounces, or 300 grams, and it is 603 yards, or 551 meters. It is machine washable and dryable. Um, a 5 millimeter hook, or knitting needles. And I told you it was vanilla bean. Yeah, and this one has a free pattern on label for Shake It Up Knit Blanket. Same thing on the other one, Shake It Up Knit Blanket. But that's a pretty blanket. I don't think they use this color, though, because there's some blues in there, blues and grays. Does this have a free pattern on it? It does. Oh, How, you know what's funny? I read the knit patterns, but I totally, like, space on sending. I'm rusty at this, guys. I swear the next video will be better. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, this, and I like this actually. That's really pretty. I'm going to use a different yarn though. But this is called, the free pattern on this label is called the Crochet Sawtooth Shawl. Take a look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's see. Isn't that pretty? I think that's pretty. And in fact, if I can figure out the multiples, that might be a pretty blanket stitch. Anyway, so those are the ones that I got at Michael's. My yarn is falling size itself stay right okay so I got one two three four five six 
six, 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 two, four, six, eight, ten balls at Walmart, right? Okay. So we'll go with the one that I was just talking about how I talked about the Turkish Delight. I buy things just because of the name. This is the one I bought just because of the name. Diagonally. Oh, I'm sorry. Diagon Alley. Look at that. And all my Potterheads know exactly what I'm talking about. Why I said diagonally first, right? But look at the colors. The colors work really well for a any kind of baby item you want to make. And this is the Mandela Baby. There are 5.3 ounces. It is a three lightweight. There are 590 yards. And I actually did get matching lot numbers on these. I don't know why. They had multiple, so I just... Actually, they only had two of these. So I actually looked out... Um, that they had the matching because if they had more I would have bought more because those are the colors and this is pretty see, you can see. All those pastel colors. It, looks, it reminds me a lot of Easter. Easter's coming up. So we'll see um, It is also um, da, 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 Machine wash and dryable. Sorry about that I'm trying to find the words where is that three lightweight it recommends a five hook or five knitting needles um, excuse me, um, let me see, machine washer drivable, uh, color number is 228, article number is 526, and a lot, die number 0820. You, I mean, die on alley, guys, diagonally. I just, I want to watch that now. <laughs> but I just love the colors. I think that's beautiful Easter colors, right? So I got two of those, and there's no more room in that box. We're going to have to make a couple of trips when I return stuff. And then, um... Uh, Dana at Wonderless Crochet and Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. I think I'm saying your guys is late. Your name's right, Laura and Dana, but I'm not 100% positive because it's been a minute. They were doing this um, Phoenix blanket, and they were um, like challenge each other how who could get done first. So um, I can't remember exactly what the name was, um, but when I show you a whip video, because I have several whips going on right now too, um, I had started in Stir of Echoes, and I had or Stir of Echoes. Sorry, Kevin Bacon on the brain. Um, Echo Caves. Okay, and I found one at this at Walmart when I went there, so I had to get it because I'm color coordinating my Phoenix blanket to be these colors with Echo Cave. So anytime I see an Echo Cave ball, I'm grabbing it, but I haven't seen one in months. So I have to color coordinate this, so I'll be winding and making little balls and stuff like that um, coming here soon. But this is the color I got, and this is Mandela Baby as well. So it's again, it's 5.3 ounces, 590 yards, or 540 meters. Um, it's a light, three lightweight, five millimeter knitting needles, or, oh no, I'm sorry, a five or 3.75 knitting needles. I'm sorry. I saw the five and just went five. God, I'm tired. Sorry, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> um, but I can't do a whole video in my house like this. I'd look weird. Look at my glasses. Aren't these cute, though? Maybe I'll do my finished objects outside tomorrow, and it's not raining. I'm having moments. Okay. Um, I just miss talking to you guys so much, I'm just rambling. Anyway, so, and it's, it is a US H8 or a five millimeter crochet hook. And these are the colors it kind of comes out to. Let's see if I can, let's see. Is it coming? There. You kind of see the colors. It's not, there we go. Beautiful. So it's got all these lovely colors. So I'm doing that for the Phoenix. And then here, let me show you, because I didn't show you the diagram now, because I don't think they have it on here. They don't. So this is an old band, because they show you the colorway. This new band, see how it's got the mandala all written different? You can see it's kind of, the bands are a little bit different. It doesn't show you how the colors come out. That's so weird. Okay, anyway. Sorry, sidetracked. Um, so I got those <laughs> of the mandala baby. Um, I got, I was going to order it on Amazon, right? It's the new mandala ombres. And I had put a three pack aside and three pack came to like after taxes and stuff, even with my prime shipping came to like $27.96 or something like that. And I was like, what? Okay. So I was waiting. And when I went to my wall, well, one of the Walmarts near me, cause I live in between two Walmarts too. It's so funny. Michael's is like cross street on both of them. It's weird. Anyway, um, the color I had chosen was Zen and they had three balls of Zen and they were on sale for like $4.97. So for like $15, 1550 maybe 16 I got the three Zen balls I needed and they're all matchy matchy and see look at there's the colors that this is gonna come out to isn't that gorgeous it's upside down sorry guys these are the colors it's gonna come out to isn't that pretty 
So I got three of these. One, two, and three. Uh, and now I'll read you a little bit about the Mantle Ombre. So the color right here I got is Zen. And then I got two other colors, but two of one and one of the other, which I'll show you in just a second. But for the Zen, it is, they're all, and the Mandalay Ombre, which I like, is a four-way. Um, I'm still more comfortable with fours and threes simply because it, I know it's been a year since I started crocheting, but just, like, because I took three months off there, and the three months would have made me just at a year now. Because <laughs> I stopped right at my, like, right before my one year. And, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's math. I'm, I'm lost. Anyway. <laughs> So it's Zen. Um, it's a number four weight. It recommends a seven or 4.5 knitting needles. It recommends an I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. It's 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, um, 344 yards or 315 meters. They're all 100% acrylic and machine washable and drywall. So look at those colors. You know, like anybody who knows me is like looking at that going, oh wow, if I saw that, I'd, you know, I'd have to buy that and send it to her. <laughs> Or they would think of me because this is like my my colors. This one and then the other set that is also my colors would be these. Now, come on, guys. Are we seeing a similarity somewhere in here of this and this? Right? Okay. So those were Zen, the greens. And then this bluish green one is called Mantra. And I love these names because when I crochet, it is like a Zen-like moment for me. It's, it's, um... It kind of centers me and makes me focus because you see how I am otherwise. I'm kind of like flighty all over the place, right? So anyway, the Zen, or the Zen, the Mantra has these blues. I got two of these. This is pretty. And this is the way the colors will work out. Not pretty. It even has like this, like, mauve color in there. And see, it's got purple. Oh, jeez Louise. There you go Mauve and, like, light purple and, like, and like even kind of like a yellowy color. It's really cool. I'm really digging all the colors in it. I think it's beautiful. So I got two of those. And then the last ball of the ombre I got was called Balance. Look at that green. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I want, like, they only had one of these. Otherwise, I would have bought a bunch of these. And I would have straight, to, to be completely 100% honest with you guys. Um, from here, this tealy color. Pull it out. All the way to this green like, that's my green right there. It's like a citron. Hold well, on, let me pull it out. It's like, it goes, it goes teal. Okay, see, teal to, like, Kelly green ombre to, like, this citron or spring green. I would have bought as many balls as they had. I kid you not. Oh, I almost said that. S-E not. <laughs> kid you not. And I would have color coordinated the crap out of all of these balls. And I would have taken all of those greens and teals. And I would have just wrapped them up and all into one ball. I mean, I still would have used the pinks and the blues and stuff like that. But I would have used all those greens and teals into one massive ball to make something for myself. And then I would have built something else with the rest of these colors. But I think those are beautiful colors. And this is called Balance. And these are the colors it's going to work out to. Okay. So I would have taken this green, that green, and that teal color. And you know what? Maybe that light blue. And just let the uh, pink and the orange, or pink and the purple. Yeah, I would have left the pink and the purple. I, so I would have gone from blue to teal. Like, I, yeah, it would have been bad. <laughs> and I would have bought as many as I possibly could just to do that. Okay, I know, this is getting close to 45 minutes, guys. Um, one more ball of yarn, and then I will let you go. You can say you've gotten your... Okay, having a moment. Um, you can say you got your Megan Phil Gypsy Jarn Yak. I, I, you know, I like to roam around and I am totally yakking constantly. Anyway, let's see if I can get this done in the next 45 seconds. Okay, so the last color I got was a um, Red Hearts Ombre and I got the color True Blue. Okay, it's got its little starty thing and even if the starty string, starty thing, oh my god. I am totally literate, guys. I swear to God. And usually I'm very loquacious. I'm still loquacious, but usually I have a vocabulary to go with that. It's not working today. Anyway, but Red Heart, what they do is that if it's not stuck out, it tells you what side to pull. See? Either one or two. So you know where to pull out the little nest of yarn to get your center pull string. Okay. So this has a, um, a knit pattern on here, and it is for this shawl. 
I have a crochet pattern that I did very similar to this. And actually, I think it was more intricate than that. That um, was a crochet pattern that was nice. Okay, so this has got 10 ounces, and I totally did not make it in 45 seconds. I knew I wasn't going to. Okay, so 10 ounces, 283 grams. There are 482 yards or 440 meters. Um, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, this one, imported and distributed. This was made in the USA of imported fibers. So basically, it was made here, but all, everything to make it was from somewhere else. That's cool. Look at it. Kind of matches my eyes, huh? Actually, my eyes look kind of green right now because I've been holding up green, but look at it. What do you think? Maybe? No? Maybe? Kind of? Sort of? Anyway. <laughs> um, so the True Blue, it's a four weight. It is a 5.5 millimeter or an I-9 hook. It is a 5 millimeter or an 8 US um, knitting needles. It does 100% acrylic. And again, like I said, everything I've been buying, machine, wash, and dryable. Okay. And I got this because I have a, and I'm working on a sweat. The sweater I'm working on right now is actually a little boy um, you can use it for a girl too, but I use like, you know, um, a royal and I'm using like a soft blue to do it. But it's got, it's a free pattern on your inspirations and it's the um, character face sweater. So it's like a solid blue and then it's got the light blue right around the stomach that you put eyes and ears on and it becomes like a little teddy bear. So that's what I'm working on. I thought this would be a nice color to do that in as well. Anyway, so that is all I've got today, guys. That was quite a bit of yarn. Project Explore. I'm all happy. I'm doing my dance now. Um, <laughs> um, I need to go check on my baby. Make sure he's doing okay. Um, so that's what I've got for yarn. I will be doing another video of finished objects. Some of my finished objects, because they were commissioned objects, I don't have them anymore. And I didn't take pictures beforehand because I, it was just when I started crocheting again, um, like maybe a month or two ago, that I started doing it. And then I wasn't taking pictures of stuff because I was still not filming and I still wasn't doing all that good stuff. So I will do as best I can to show you some of the stuff that I've done. Um, I also got business cards, guys. What? I know, right? So I will show you guys that um, hopefully tomorrow. Don't hold me to it because we're going to see what happens with my son being sick if I can film anymore. And this has been a long time filming, so he's probably napping right now because he did um, come home sick from school, like I said. Anyway, guys, um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafty, and be kind to someone because you never know what someone else is going through. And I will talk to you guys on the next episode. Bye.